hustle nigga big shit Big shit, big shit, big shit huh. Name another podcast like this Check it, check it, check it. It's a unique hustle. It's your boy ECEO, and I'm here with the lovely official Miss Jamaica. What's going on? Not nothing, my dad. Okay, this time, man, look out. And she ain't back, but she here, man. Is it Lil Brook? Yes. Is it <laughs> Big Brook? Lil Brook, Big Brook. Is, which one is it? Whichever one. Okay. Look how little she is. She's no, nah, it's big. Nah, but, I'm big. But she I'm big. big. Stop playing. <laughs> she big at heart, man. So, hey, what's going on with you, man? What? Like, you talking about did I listen to your music? It's always two of y'all on the music when nah, I sing. I got some music by myself. You got one uh little boy or something. Yeah, I, that's I, I, the only song, but I'm finna drop a tape by myself. That's the only song. Mm-hmm. That's a trip. So go ahead and get her. I, yeah, she she says she ready. So I wanted to know about Lil Brooke before the music. Uh she just I was just a regular kid, like just hanging out I with miss my friends, kids, somebody who give trouble, somebody. Tell me about you. I mean, Raised I with it. your mom and dad. My mama. Your mama. Where yeah. was your dad? Uh, in jail. In jail. Mm-hmm. How thug. old? How old was he when he left? Uh, how old were you when he left? When? Oh, so you don't remember? Nah. Um, Is he? He's he cool. He, yeah, I don't fuck with him, something like that. <laughs> Is he still in jail? Nah, he not in jail. Okay, he out now. Yeah. So you got to build a relationship with him, but you just don't really deal with him. Uh, it ain't a relationship, but we cool. Like he cool. He cool. He oh, ain't okay. like a father like a that. Father he just like a, a homeboy. Like you know, oh, okay. we smoke together, stuff like that. Okay, okay. So where did you go to school? South Grand Prairie in Crosswinds. Okay, okay. How was it over there growing up? Like going to school. Regularly, it's Grand Prairie. Like. You, you know, when I went to school, I stole all the shoes, everything from the high school. Nah, I all kind of stuff. I, I was tripping. I wasn't stealing. She I wasn't was that bad. Oh, yeah. you're a good person. Yeah, I'm a good person. Your mama <laughs> white, right? My mama is white. I like, know it. That, the white part <laughs> going to act right. The nigga part ain't. You know what I'm talking about? <laughs> nah, my siblings bad as fuck, so I don't know about that. Are you serious? How many siblings you got? Uh, I got two younger siblings and three older siblings. Okay. Mm-hmm. So do you... so? When you, how did you learn that I'm gonna do music? Or, or what make you? Th- what gives you the audacity? Like to think you just gonna? Well, I was always always in the studio with them. Okay. So like there was a reason for me to rap. Like I was just always sitting in there, and so one day they just told me to do a song. So I had gotten a song with Molly, and then I had made a song with them, and then I just started rapping. But I used to suck back then. Like so. how did you meet Molly? Uh, on Instagram. Really? Mm-hmm. And y'all just clicked. Yeah, but I had met her like when I was in eighth grade on Instagram and then we just started being cool. I went to her house one day and then it was cool. Really? Uh, you, you Who go the hardest? Yeah, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> so I go harder than anybody. So no, no, okay, okay. Well, okay. well, I just wanted to know that when yeah. she hear on Boss Talk 101, you know. Yeah. yeah. She probably said she go harder than me but I know I go hard. Man, Big Somebody. Brooke go hard. Yeah. She go harder than Molly. No, I'm just kidding. I'm not going to start that today. <laughs> now, y'all both dope, though. Yeah. I love y'all music. So, when y'all, are, are you still signed to Def Jam or no? Nah, I haven't been signed to Def Jam in a year. Okay, so what happened? I mean, because it seemed like when I looked, at, start researching you, mm-hmm. um, it seemed like it was a like a, a, a time where you just kind of fell back. Yeah, but with Def Jam, it was more like a little, like, we were signed individually, but they wanted to keep doing, like, Molly and Brooke. And, like, we our own person. Like, I want to do Brooke, and she could do Molly, but we not we not no group or nothing, but that's what they wanted to do. So, she like, they was just making too many rules, like, trying to tell you what to do. So, they weren't doing nothing. I wasn't doing nothing. So, they didn't have no choice. To tell, me me, tell me how you guys uh, end up uh, connecting with Def Jam. Uh, I had posted a video on Twitter, a live video. And it had blew up. It had got a million views. And then an a and had hit me. And then... And you told them, hey, what about Molly? No, nah, they had... I had gave them my manager information. Who was your manager at the time? Go to TV. Okay. Yeah. I remember those guys. I seen them. <laughs> yeah, and then they had hit him up. And then Are they still managing you? Mm. Let's be real now. This boss talk 101. What a boss is talk. So, Gutty is my manager right now, okay. but uh, my contract about to end, so I'm going to go independent fully by myself. Well, not really. I'm trying to get there. I'm trying to get in there. <laughs> <laughs> I already had done DM'd you. You didn't answer me. You suck. I ain't see Bro, I, I you. I DM'd you, nigga. I, I DM'd you. Nigga, it's, it's a trip how y'all be doing. Y'all think y'all better than somebody. No, you, got, you got to DM me again. No, I no, I, I DM'd <laughs> you, bro. I promise you. And I said, oh, she ain't going to answer. 
I remember you told nah, me. I DM'd everybody, not. dude. Like Erica Banks, I I, I DM'd her before she even got. We at least she answered. She back. answered you. Yeah, at least she answered. <laughs> no, back. but you too times much. I DM people and I'd be like, oh, they already DM me. Like I don't be seeing it. So. <laughs> no, I understand. I know I read it's a lot. So of you people. probably get a lot of DMs. Yeah. yeah, but I had lost my Instagram, so I don't be getting that much no more. But that's what's mm-hmm. up. I, I did DM you. I was like, I'm gonna see what's going on with her because she ain't did nothing in a while. Mm-hmm. I'm being nosy. I and, just started back working like. That this was, year has been like the most work I did for myself, but I just really ain't dropped nothing yet. Well, that was after, I, and that was after what had left off Mon here, and I did not know, I didn't even know you knew him until after he had passed, because you started posting like crazy. I'm like, what the heck is she? I, I, I didn't even know, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So um, tell us a little bit about it. We got to get into that. I mean, as far as what he, what he meant to you. So what do you, how me and Wadi first met, like that was just my friend, you know, like, we always hung out. Then we How just, long ago? Uh, I seen him on the videos. Like, when y'all was doing y'all videos and stuff, I would see Wadi on there. Yeah, like, that was my friend, but we fucked with each other, like, you know. But uh, I met Wadi mm, when he lived in San Antonio. That was probably, like, a long time ago. I don't remember what year or nothing like that, but... Um, I don't know how to explain it. Nah, it he like, how you meet somebody? How did you meet him? Because you was really low-key with it. Like, you wasn't saying nothing about it before he passed away. I didn't see no pictures like that. Them pictures went crazy. Because it's a lot to it. With me and Woody, it's a lot to it. Like, Tell us about it. I mean, you on Boss Talk 101. Which I would have known. I mean, like, how, what, what, why was you so secretive about it? I wasn't really secretive. Like, I had, like I went... Like, I've been in Wody's videos. He's been in my videos. Like, we've been live on each other. I post shit, like, when we all together. Just not know. I really ain't feel the need to, like, just post, like, I fuck with him. Like, we just really ain't do that. Like Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. We go we would go places together, but we didn't really, on, we didn't really post each other on Instagram like that. I get it. I get it. it, was, especially, it was, especially if you know Wody. You know, like, it's not. Mm-hmm. It's not going to be all that. Yeah, yeah. Well, I just, I, I just know I love seeing the chemistry. When you posted it, thank you for that for me, because I was just getting to know him. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So that helped me to see. You know what I'm saying? That okay, you know this side of him. Because me and him, we had great conversation there. This, one of my favorite interviews by far. My co-host was tripping. You, you remember, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so it was a great interview, and 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 uh, I didn't get to. You know, we got to talk about a lot of things it, on my on my platform. It's a lot of God come out. So I just thank God that I got an opportunity to speak to him. And it was something that was real, from a real place. Most mm-hmm. people don't take the time. The first thing when I heard that it happened, I asked my wife, I was like, did I get to say something to him, you know, to give him something? Because I know God like I do. You know what I'm saying? And you, mm-hmm. you could tell on the interview, I'm going to put you in a place where you got to take a panoramic view of who you are. You know what I'm saying? So I definitely enjoyed the, uh, the, the, the interview. What's up with you and this little girl? Don't you got a little girl? Yeah, I got a daughter. Her name's Sky. Yeah, Aww. I seen that. How old is she? She's one. Aww. Oh, well, wait a minute. Uh, and and Sky, uh, who's the baby daddy? Yeah, <laughs> nigga. Yeah. Okay, Buddy is not Buddy is not her dad, first okay, of all. Well, but we not going to speak. Like, yo, you going you gonna to keep it? No, nah, it. nah, it's not private, but like... Uh, that's not my people, like. You know. Well, people called me and told me who the daddy was already. Yeah. Niggas gonna that, tell like, me. That's my kid, though. Like, I get it. Know, yeah, Ain't nothing wrong with that. He is your kid. I, I get it. Mm-hmm. Or she is your kid. So what? Um, what's up with the music? I mean, when we gonna hear a, a project? You, you say you going independent by yourself. Yeah. You want to show us what little Brooke can do? You nervous? Cause you ain't did nothing by yourself with that one song. Uh, no, I'm not nervous. But you dope. You dope. I ain't gonna lie. I love it. I promise. Thank you. I'm not nervous though, cause uh, like even though I haven't dropped music by myself, I still record by myself. Like uh, I have a lot of songs that I'm gonna drop, but I don't know if I want to drop a tape or just start dropping videos. Bro. You got uh, you got your boys with you, and I'm gonna tell you something. Them niggas working. I love the way they get yes, down. Yes, they be working. Some niggas working. So if you have another opportunity to sign with a label, would you? Uh, but how much money? <laughs> Like yeah. a million, if they give me a million dollars, like yeah, okay, I was on. Yeah, okay. I get it. You so when you go independent, you gonna call me. We gonna do a project together. Yeah, nigga, you need somebody to to invest. Let's be real. Yeah, the investment is good. It's hustling. It's just like shooting dice. It's like okay, let's do something together, mm-hmm. and then you move on. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But you scared, huh? You like I don't want to miss my scared. career. I don't want to nah. miss my career. Nah, I'm not scared. But like working with people already, like people be trying to tell me what to do. Like, nah, hell no, nah. I don't care what you do. You young, I'm old, nigga. I don't know what you do. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> like I can't do what you do. 
So that's the that's the good part about it, right? Because mm-hmm. you 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 basically you're in a whole different you're on your own lane. I I mean I I know you know what's going on because yeah you with these niggas all the time. And that's what I be trying to explain to people. They be trying to like just be. I mean, I'm like I'm young. Like I know what's cool. Like all day I'm not finna do. So that's what like. they was trying to do. They was trying like Def Jam was trying to critique you on how you yeah would do just things. like mm-hmm. maybe be different. Like it's like dress girlier and do all that. Like I'm not. I don't want to do that. Like I'm girly. Like. Get my eyelashes done, get my nails done, but I'm not. I don't have to just they, like no. I just did they want to? Did they want to? Because I know we had Renita Spencer on here the other week, uh, the one song the Bar Baby um, with Big Mo, and she's she's do, revamping herself, and she says that uh, she tried on American Idol, it was, mm-hmm. and they wanted her to dress, you know, real skimpy and you know not wear much, and mm-hmm. she says she wasn't, she didn't want to do it, and that's yeah. that's why she didn't, you know. How do, how do you do? Would you what? How far would you go? Like what you mean? In, I, in 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 trying to create a character to be successful. I just don't want to create a character. That's like my that's like my final like decision. Like I'm not changing. Like people like me for me. Like people like me being cool. Like like a lot of people fuck with me. Like niggas and girls. Like they fuck my shit. So like I don't gotta change. Like motherfuckers gone. What? So, so you saying that the person that you are through your music and the people the person that people see that's who you are all the time. Yeah, I mean, like, yeah, I'm cool all the time. My shit, like, what the fuck, like, all this, what I do, but I don't got to do all the extra shit, like the dancing and wearing two pieces. And you can have your background dancers for that. Uh, I don't know about background <laughs> <laughs> Background dancers, like, I be so specific on what I want. Like, I just feel like a lot of shit be head ass and I do not want to do it, like. But a lot of times when you like sign the dance the routines on stage and shit, like I'm not yeah. doing it. What? But you can't you, dance? I'm not finna dance. Nigga, you like, gonna dance and I'm you not some finna money. do a whole dance. Money, right? If if that money did all is that. right, I promise you, they put them car. Them, them yeah, because you said you signed for, for a million, yeah. and a lot of times if you a label dance. is you know spending all that money, they're mm-hmm. gonna tell you what they want you to do. But for that meal ticket, for the meal ticket. Nah, for yeah, 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 yeah. She gonna get out there and dance. We don't talk about something about that, but. I don't know. You don't know if you can do it. So, so tell me about little boy and how did you end up doing that by yourself? Um, damn, I don't even remember recording little boy. Uh, I think I was in LA. I was up all night with this girl, Loudy Luna. She a producer. Okay. So I was just at the house. They got a narco house in LA, and I was just chilling at their house all night. So I just recorded this. I was mad. I don't know what I was mad about. Something like I was just talking shit like uh, niggas be gay. Like just talking shit like. I was mad, so I had made a song, put it on Instagram, whatever. So wow. then I shot a video. So and 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 so when you done it, how did you, how comfortable did you feel? Like that's what you about to do. That was my hardest song to record, and that is the shortest song ever because that was like <laughs> one of, like not the first song I recorded by myself. That was like the fifth song I recorded by myself, and it was halfway decent. So I was like, shit, I'm going to put this whole out. Like mm-hmm. the first thing I did like by myself, that was good. But now it'd be so easier for me to record by myself. Like because you, you like it better this way. Mm-hmm. Okay. Really? So will you guys ever get back together, you and Molly? Yeah, we got music together still. We got music we ain't dropped together. Uh, she be sending me songs. I be doing verses to them. I just uh, got to drop my own stuff first. Yeah. She in Atlanta or where is she at? No, she live here. Okay. I seen on off the porch. I said, maybe she moved to Atlanta. I, I don't <laughs> be knowing here. But no, um, you guys got a great chemistry too, though. Mm-hmm. You know, um, I'm going to tell you something, man. For you To even do what you guys have done, you should be very proud of yourself. Cause some people will never be able to do it. Some people will never get a deal. These niggas out here is trash. Now, <laughs> some so of them I want to know. So you know, we were talking earlier, and you said you're shy, and everybody is saying how shy you are. How? What do you do with that shyness if you have to go on stage and perform in front of everybody? Uh, I be shy before I do that. Before I get on stage, or whatever. But then, like you know, just be turning up on stage. Like you listen to music in the choir type shit, so it'd be different. But like when I gotta talk. I'd be nervous. Nervous. Yeah. Mm. Cause you don't you don't ever um record in front of your friends. No. Mm. So what's the difference with that compared to when you go on stage? It, the the song already done. They don't gotta <laughs> they don't gotta hear me. They don't gotta hear me trying to uh like mess it Put up it together, and having yeah. to redo it. And Would you be punching my ad lib? Yeah, I punch you. Okay. But these are your friends. These are people who accept you for who you, you anyway. are and love you regardless. I know, but like that's how I learn to record. I be hearing them record and they be punching and that's how I learn that shit. I be listening to yeah. them. Mm-hmm. So then when I go record by myself, I be like 
punching in, think about it, like I'll be seeing what they do. But so really, recently I had learned to record myself, so now I'll be dope. way more comfortable. I just be by myself recording myself. Because the good thing about having people around you when you're doing certain things, yes, you mess up, but these are all the people who are in the industry who can also help you and tell you, you know what, try this, don't do this. You know, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. So you can get better. If they can't see what you're doing, a lot of times you can't, you know, get that critique. Yeah. Yeah. So I'll, would, get, I'll get used to it one day. <laughs> who would you like to work with? Uh, I mean, if you could pick anybody. Damn. Uh, mm. Anybody. 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 Young boy. Oh, you want to work with that nigga right there? I don't there. Worry, young boy. Young boy, yeah, 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 yeah. That nigga locked up right now. Yeah, free, yeah, he yeah, can't, free, yeah. free, free yeah, 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 yeah. There you go. Stop playing. Yeah, yeah shout that out. <laughs> yeah, but your thug nigga though. That's what's up. Yeah, you know, I've been there. I, I, yeah. I get it. You know, um. So young boy, that nigga is mm-hmm. is got really. He might have a, he he number one right now. Locked up. Mm-hmm. This nigga fly. It, it, I don't. And I, I think it was they were saying it was like uh, only three other people to do that while they was incarcerated. That's what you know. Yeah, what I mean? and that's on hard as fuck. Yeah, hard yeah, the whole whole project, man. Things, hey, man. Listen, man. Times has changed. So let me know about Texas, man. What was that Texas thing about with you and Sis and Molly? Uh, the song Texas. Mm-hmm. Um, that's the song we had recorded that video when we had our album release party. Okay. So, uh, where we record that? Paramount. You know what Paramount yeah. is? Paramount Studio. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. We record that in Paramount. Uh, I don't really remember recording that. I remember we was working on our album, though. Yeah. Then we just had shot the video because we had had a release party and everybody was there and we had shot the video. How hard was it being in the industry? Because I've had a lot of girls on this on on this uh, show, mm-hmm. yeah. And 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 the biggest thing they say when they're trying to, you know, they they have to, they they go through so much trying to do their music with the way that the mm-hmm. way it is in the studio. I'm not playing. This is what they're telling me. So how hard have you had those experiences where it was like tough to even deal with just being in the industry? Uh, yeah, say, nigga, go on and tell I it. I say it was tough because like the easy part is like I need my hair done, like I need my yeah, makeup done, yeah. like I need a studio session and mm-hmm. all that. But the the hard part is like I'm trying to drop some music, like can I shoot a video, like all yeah. That. So, so like, I'm talking about far as guys coming on to you too. Let's just gonna be real. <laughs> yeah, you can't get no damn work work going and these niggas all in your ear. And it be the yeah. old yeah. man. Oh, yeah. It be the old, old man. Yeah. It be the old man yeah. that like work at the label, like just being weird. Yeah. Like, <laughs> I be like, really, like I'm they make it seem like you can't get nowhere unless you talk to them. Yeah, but I'm hard on anybody. Like you're not gonna do that. Yeah, yeah. Well, yeah, you stiff. You okay. She can stand up for herself. That's what you're trying to it. say. I get it. That's the daddy part coming out. Wait, yeah. Yeah. Daddy. Your daddy. That nigga, he's black. You know what I'm mama, my mama taught me this shit. <laughs> no, no. That nigga is in you. I ain't going to play with it now. What you say? Your mama go hard. Yeah. Mama, I mean. Oh, she cool beast? too. No, mama cool. Like. She white. Well, me and my mama is way different. But Already. <laughs> <laughs> I love my mama. She cool. She so, that's good. So do you think that, um, let, let me ask you this, top three artists of all time, dead or alive? Oh, Any okay. genre. Oh, you already done watched the show. She, oh, okay. Like, she really got it. Nah, I just. Uh, no, she know. So I got YB, like. number one. Number one, YB. YB. Um, Polo G, number two. Okay. And my number three. Number three, always the hardest for me, though. <laughs> Everybody uh, do that when they come on here. Number three. Can I have four? No. no. <laughs> uh, it's the top three artists of all time. Okay. Why do you still lie? Gonna be my number three. Hey, we gotta like do that. that one, man. Yeah. I definitely, I, I definitely. Y'all didn't ever do nothing together though for the music, did you? No, but we have a song. We did. I did a song like one of my first songs with them. It's like Barrio Flip, Wadi Dolo, Me and Molly. Man, they never job. That's the only thing we ever did. But together. y'all got it. I don't. I don't, I, I don't think I got it. Like yeah, I was young. I was a kid. I could probably find that. I could yeah, probably find that. Yeah, that, that. but that's a dope experience that now you would really wish to have and keep you know, know. for all time. I, yeah, I wish. Yeah. I, I was too shy to ever, you know, do that. But how you think that um, song came out? What song? The one that you did together as a group. 17. Yeah, I mean, 2017. Because you said that nah. you were young in the business back then. I think I was 16 when I recorded that song, mm-hmm. but, uh, you know, it's like, when you record a song, you be lit, even if that hoe sucks, like, I ain't know that hoe sucks, I was lit, you know, I fucked with that hoe, but probably if I listen to that hoe now, I'll be like, ooh, I sound bad, because when I listen to my old songs, my voice so loud, squeaky, mm-hmm. like, I don't yeah. like that. So, if, if you could go back and talk to the 15-year-old you, what would you say for us uh, to help her to understand what she was about to face? What would you say? 
Uh, nothing. You wouldn't tell her nothing? Damn, uh, no advice, good. nothing? What? Everything. You're supposed to advise her at least, that, right? Everything that I done been through and went through baby, me, you know? And you ain't going to tell her nothing to prepare her. You just going to say, go for it. What yeah. type of person are you? You ain't gonna maybe like, maybe like go thing. to maybe, yeah. maybe like go to school or something. Like oh, go to school more. Yeah, tell her go to is, school. Is school important? Be yes. honest. Not to me. <laughs> school not important to me. Like I never need a school. You know, like I, I didn't graduate school. Like, but I would want my daughter to graduate school because you don't. Why? Wanna, who want to tell somebody they don't got no college? I mean, no high school degree. Like that shit. Yeah, yeah, but. Well, you know, I'm going to be honest with you. It's all about what your destiny is, how you fulfill mm -hmm. it. I, I think you can do anything you want to do, period. Yeah. I mean, your mind got to be strong. Yeah. When I was in school, I had, I was so busy. Like, my uh, when I was in, like, 11th grade, uh, I was so busy. Like, I was I was always going out of town. Like, I could not go to school. So, one day, I was like, I'm going to go to school. Like, so, I started going to school, and they like, oh, you don't go here no more. So, I was like, shit, mm. fuck it. Like, I'm not going to school no more. Like, <laughs> Fuck the school, I'm not going no so, more. So when you so so do you think you ever go get like your, your GED? GED or something? No, 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 no. You ain't you ain't even tripping. No, I don't need it. Because you That's know how you say about. you'd love for your daughter to finish school. Because I know some some moms would be like, you know, if I'm going to tell her to go to school, I need to at least have my GED as well. No, nah, she gonna listen to me. She <laughs> gonna, she gonna go, she not gonna have a choice Bro, to go you to school. Go, like, hey, I got I got daughters, man. That's that's bull crap. She's not gonna listen to you. No, nah, I'm saying she's not she's gonna, gonna listen to, to you. She's not gonna have no choice. Like you me. can say what you want to say. She might go up into a point, but yeah, she gonna she gonna yeah. At, uh, when she get older, yeah, she gonna get down. Did you listen like to you. your mom with everything? Did I listen? to Hell her? Hell no. Mm -hmm. No, I didn't, but that was but that was me. That was the same. My mama wasn't as hard as me as I'm gonna be on her. Man, I'm not gonna be too hard you on her. You don't but, know how hard she gonna be with all the stuff she sees. Stop playing, man. But she not gonna handle me. Bro, she gonna handle you. <laughs> she, not, <laughs> she not gonna handle me. I'm it's just, gonna be an easy already, job already too. Know it ain't what, gonna even be hard. Light work. No, you know I already what know what I'm gonna do. She not gonna be hard on me. Like Bro, she gonna know she not to play you. with you. She you. She gonna come when at you when she's my age. Really? When she gets sixteen, like we're fist fighting. If you play no, with no, me, no, no, she not the fist fight. <laughs> you gonna get We're real fighting. calm and collective, and you probably gonna have another child who gonna no, I'm not also another another whatever. Child. You don't want no more. Whatever. No. One and done. Let me tell you something. People say a lot. A pair of lips you say young anything. too. Y'all hold me to this. I Let's know a pair of lips. Let's spend ten thousand dollars. I'll never have a kid nigga, in my life. Nigga, I ever. promise you gonna Those have a kid. I promise I'll have you. Crazy. You I young. No. There's no way. There's okay. No do you think she gonna she she ain't never having no more kids? She already know. I've been told. We we talk oh, about this all the man, time. Man, you better be getting fixed or something, nigga. Y'all gonna slip up or something. Uh, you know, I asked about that, but you you, you know, can't you do know, it. You, you can't, can't do it no. because you t I'm too you're young not married and, and you too I'm young. I'm not married. And, yeah. Yeah. Right, and you, had right. have, you had to have three babies. I yeah. agree with the white yeah. folks on that one. Yeah, they right on that one. You don't need to be. Yeah, yeah. You still young. We gotta be productive, nigga. We need soldiers, nigga. You I'm ain't had no little boy, nigga. Stop playing. I'm not having no kids. So where does Lil Brooke see herself in the next two years? Well, I'm gonna be rich as fuck. God, oh, yeah. is like, we gonna talk that into this is rich as fuck. How you gonna Richard. get to that money with the with, 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 with the with the music? With a lot of shit. Let me ask you something, cause <laughs> cause the brand is important, right? Mm -hmm. So so music is is people really making money in music like that? Let's be real. People make. I'm money coming from a real no, place. I know some people make money from music. Like, okay, all right. Somebody, and they. Regular, I, think, I think about it regular. like the brand. You know what I'm saying? Like yeah. the whole brand, not just the music itself, mm -hmm. but the whole entire brand. I think all of it is is ways to make uh, money. Mm -hmm. So I think the whole thing matters. But just music, I don't know. Yeah, not because four thousand. Listen, listen, a million streams is four thousand dollars on Apple. On Apple, it? I don't know. That's a lot, nigga. You're <laughs> That's a lot. You understand what I'm saying? But that's a little money. That ain't a lot. Yeah. You feel me? I'm, I'm just telling you, it, it go, go real yeah, fast because you got to keep marketing yourself, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. But you do get that money forever, though. But even though it gets smaller and smaller and smaller, you, do get you still it. get the money. So it's somewhat residual. So I get yeah, it. But it still, it still helps, but you always got to do, do more. You got a brand. You got to mm -hmm. look at your brand, your whole entire brand. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So, so. Next next song, I'm, I, where, where's the video shoot going to be at? What, what you doing? What, when are you going to so put something out, man? Next, I'm already, looking at your Instagram <laughs> and all that. I really don't just be seeing the music dropping like that. Where is the music at, Lil Brooke? You ain't seen me drop a little clip on my... I seen it, okay, but I'm so, just saying, I'm, I, we, that ain't enough. We hungry out here. Okay, we got to eat. That's going to be the first video I shoot. Okay. okay go ahead and when is it going down? 
Everybody, I don't know yet. You better put it together. That's why I wanted you I on the show. I hit the cameraman Ben yesterday. So we, I told him I'm going to find a day. Then we're going to do that. Huh? I definitely hit you up because I was like, man, oh, she done quit. This was my perfect opportunity. Everybody I'm going to get up in there. Everybody you know asked me, do you still rap? Do you still I'm rap? I, you, I really I, be offended, but like I can't be offended because I really ain't did Ain't nothing. no work. So I'm that looking. make you push harder. But even though I ain't drop no music, like I get money off features. Like money off features. And they don't even be dropping a song. Really? Like, I get money off features. That, then I know we can still go. Mm-hmm. Like I said, if you, if you get... To be that independent person you're talking about, and then you like, damn, I need somebody that really can rock with me, that ain't gonna bother me, gonna let me, ain't gonna be dancing all in my videos. You know? Oh, God. <laughs> gonna let me do my thing. That's me. You know what I'm saying? I, I'm just, I really, I've been pulling up in some places and talking to some people, and I'm good with this. I just been nervous about because I don't trust y'all, because you niggas gonna run off with the bag. <laughs> Who gonna you know run that? off? <laughs> I'm not janky. <laughs> What you think? So, hey, so, hey, man, we love you, man. We appreciate you for coming on the show, man. Appreciate so, you. So, we, when you when you drop that project, you're going to come back. You ain't going to be late next time either. You're going to come back, right? Yeah, I'm going to be on time. I know. Mm-hmm. You're coming back to Boss Talk, yeah, though. Yeah, I'm going to come back. Don't play. I'm going to come back, for sure. Say, man, hey, we appreciate you. We love you. I, I and, and it's been another great segment of Boss Talk 101. And we out.